Phil Richards is the Canadian artist who painted a portrait of the Queen. He spoke with journalists about what he hoped to accomplish. Well, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Uh, I started painting portraits, I think over 40 years ago I painted my first one. And even back then, if you'd asked me was, who's the one person you'd like to paint before your career ends, I would have said Queen Elizabeth. Your image is being reproduced more than any human being in, uh, in history. And it's not, it wasn't scary, it's just uh, it made it more difficult because so many people have uh, a mind's eye image of what she looks like or what you know, they think she looks like. And you know, she's been you know, on the throne for 60 years now, so each one of those decades she's had a different kind of iconic look to her. So, to paint her portrait uh, at the age of the Diamond Jubilee, uh, what I was trying to do in the face was to paint in a way a memory of all those different looks of Queen Elizabeth across those decades, but still at the same time paint somebody, you know, 85 or 86 years old. The project has been almost two years uh, in, the, in the painting, in the making now. And she's seen, the, the way I work is I, I kind of collaborate with, with my sitters and I'll show them uh, sketches right through the process. And she had seen, when I visited her last uh, February, she'd seen a number of preparatory studies and sketches. And uh, I think she had seen maybe a JPEG of the final painting, but not the final painting until. I'd like it to be seen as a, first and foremost, as a, a, a decent piece of art. Uh, I'd like to be seen as uh, an interesting uh, representation of both the, the institution of the monarchy, of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee, of, of that achievement. But at the same time, I'd like to say something about her as an individual, as a, as a personality. You know, trying to depict the institution and the person at the same time, it's not an easy task. You know, some people think it's impossible. But I think that you can get a sense of the humanity into a portraiture if you work hard enough at it. Uh, I, I think she's a very intelligent person. Uh, I, I think she's uh, reserved. I think she's dedicated. Um, but I think there's a warmth there as well. So I think, um, to, to me, like I see, I've always seen Queen Elizabeth as uh, a, like the ultra, ultimate matriarchal figure, almost like uh, Queen of the world, not just of the Commonwealth. But you know, when, when people say the Queen, they don't have to say the Queen of such and such. They just say the Queen, and everyone in the world seems to understand that. And I, I think that. Uh, you know, she's she's brought her her reign uh, is be, has been a, a symbol of um, stability for again not just the Commonwealth but the whole world. And I really respect that about her. I think being thrust into that position at such a young age, uh, and she, she's really dedicated her life to the service of others. You know, some people may say, well. You know, she has all that wealth surrounding her, all these people that help her do whatever she has to do. But still, it's a really, really tough job. Like, I would not, and I couldn't do it. And I, I have great respect for her having done it with such dedication, and for so many years, and, and with such energy too. And she's still going strong. It's absolutely amazing. For Post Media News, I'm Mark Kennedy in London.